Hey, Terry Caliendo from Dedicated Managers here again. I just wanted to follow up on uh, the last um, video that I did where I was using the ex single expansion panel. So in here I have an expansion panel that I'm using to um, allow me to get this, this scroll up, scroll down effect on a single um, a single area like I do here. These are lists and so they scroll up or scroll down. That doesn't show very much there. Um, it scrolls up there and scrolls down um, based on the list items and that's in a list group. And if I tried to put my form in the list group as you can see in the previous video, um, it, it got all screwed up. So I ended up finding expansion panels and so I was just using a single expansion panel. Notice there's no other pieces behind it. Expansion panels are these things where one expands and then it shrinks up when the other one expands, but um, I'm just using one of them by itself. And I was getting this warning that uh, the way I was doing it, I was getting this warning that V model has been depreciated. So um, at first when I looked at it, here's the code from that revision. Um, I thought that it was because I had these V models within it and then I took out the I took this stuff out and I still got the error. So uh, even though I'm using value, it's still telling me not to use V model in this area. And so what I had to do, um, it turns out they're depreciating V model on the content and they want you to put the V model in the expansion panel, the top level. So um, I had to do some some kind of goofy workarounds. Um, and I'll show that now. So if I go to my rate latest revision of the code, so if I go to get cracking here and I check out my latest revision where I've got it working, um, actually I really wanted to check out, um, no, it doesn't matter for now. So that's going to update the code here. And so now you can see that the um, I have the V model going on the, the parent level expansion panel as opposed to the content. And um, the way this works is, is this takes a number uh, based on which panel is supposed to be open. Um, so if we go to the documentation here uh, and you look for the value, which is actually the V model. I don't know why it's sometimes value and sometimes it's V model. Anyway, um, I think V model is two way and value is one way, but I'm not sure. Uh, so it says it controls the open and closed state in the expansion panel and corresponds to a zero based index of the currently open content. So for me, I have one element and a zero based index is zero. So to have that open, the V model should be equal to one. And to have it closed, the V model should be equal to a different expansion panel number. Um, and it turns out if that expansion panel does not exist, you're okay. It doesn't throw an error. So what I had to do was I had to change my code and I'll actually go into the diff file here to show the difference. Um, so what I ended up having to do, remember red is the old stuff, green is the new stuff. So I ended up having to change the old variable for initializing it to true, which turned it on to the new variable initializing it to expansion panel zero should be open. Um, and so instead of toggling the true to false on the visibility of the individual panel, um, now I'm toggling from expansion panel zero uh, which is my expansion panel, my only one. So when it's zero, it's open. And then when it's another number of a different expansion panel, my zeroth one is closed. So what I do is I just do a little tertiary, ternary um, expression here that says, hey, if, um, if, if the current panel is true, um, which means I'm closed, set it to zero. I actually got lucky here that, you know, zero is and one are are inverse so that they can flip like this. I can't put a true or a false here. It won't, um, it'll error out if you send in a true or false to this to this V model. Um, you have to send a number to it. So um, I can't just do this flipping of true and false. I have to send it a number. So I'm sending it zero. Um, if I want it turned on, if I want it open, and if I want it closed, I send it a number for a different panel. Um, 
which would be the one. So then this, this little expression here just luckily flips it from one state to the other. Um, luckily my zeroth panel is um, you know, the opposite state of the false. If it was one, two, I wouldn't be flipping back and forth because it would always evaluate true. So luckily this, this worked out. Um, it's not necessarily proper because I'm sending it a one and there is no one panel, but it doesn't throw an error, so it seems to be okay. Um, and then, so what I had to do here was I took the, remember red is the old stuff, right? So um, I took the V model value parameter off of the expansion panel content and I moved it to the expansion panel. So, um, you know, this is the old and this is the new and they differ by just having moved this, um, this value up, up here. So that's where it is in this one. Um, so now the V model is receiving that value that I'm toggling from between zero and one. So when this V model, oops, so when it's zero, I'm passing a zero to this V model and that says open the zeroth um, expansion panel. Well, that's the only one I have, so then it opens. Um, if it's a one, it tries to open this the second or the, the first, you know, the, the one in an index, zero based index. Um, it tries to open it. There's, it's not there, so it just closes mine and doesn't open the other one, but it doesn't error out, which is good. So, um, so that's, that's kind of what I'm doing to kind of trick that to get rid of this depreciated. So now if I refresh this, you'll see that I don't get that depreciated error anymore. Um, whoops, back to the console. So that's me loading. I, I got a lot of output right now, but that's loading up all the entities. But if I scroll back up, that error, that uh, warning is gone. So that's how you get rid of that warning if you're using, um, you know, if you're kind of doing the cheat trick I'm doing. So again, Terry Caliendo, dedicated managers, dedicated managers, just uh, trying to help you out with a little nugget there, I guess. Take care. Have a great day. Comments, questions, feel free to, um, you know, throw them in the, the out in the YouTube bottom part there, the comments section they call it, or uh, feel free to contact me on my website, dedicatedmanagers.com. Um, so that's about it. Goodbye.